What up, everyone? This is the Asian Gamer here, and I'm bringing you some ghost gameplay, and uh, I'm here to talk about top ten things. Top ten things I would love to see return in Call of Duty Ghost 2, or Modern Warfare 4, or whatever new name I'm familiar with say to come with. And coming at number ten, I would love to see Extinction return. And I know Extinction was just pretty bad, and it got a lot of hate. Just like the overall game got a lot of hate, and was not good. And I, I have confidence in Infinity War they would improve. And if they don't, I, I don't. I think I'll quit buying their games. Um, the reason why I love to see Extinction Return is, you know, it was a pretty good, exciting game mode when Ghost came out. And with the new art director and all that, I don't know if they get new story writers. And I think they can improve on Extinction. So yeah, hopefully it's better than what it was in the first one. Coming at number nine on my list is uh, I would love to have small base maps come back in COD Ghost 2 or Modern Warfare 4. It's because uh, some of the maps in COD Ghost were so big, it, it, it was like playing Battlefield. You freaking run around the map and you can't find anyone. What's in Battlefield 4? It's supposed to be like that because you get more points throughout the overall match. But freaking maps like Stonehaven, yeah, what were they thinking when they made that map? Yeah, I would love to see small base maps return, map base styles around like Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, and maybe COD 4. And coming out number 8, uh, of course, it's probably, it's definitely going to happen because it's been happening in the past three games. It had it in COD Ghost, Advanced Warfare, and it, ha it had it in freaking uh, Black Ops 3. Even though I don't play Black Ops 3 much, it's character customization. I would like to see them go more in depth with uh, character c customization. I know they can do it. Like maybe they actually do like their in like like EA does with uh, Madden and all that and FIFA. Uh, take a picture of your face and upload to maybe the COD website, and your uh, your face gets uploaded into your character's face. But maybe th that's a suggestion. I know they can do it. Come on now, if EA can do it, EA is really not one of the best freaking companies. It's a lot of hate because of their games are the same thing over and over. Have that in there. Come on now. I, I'm sure a lot of people will like that. Now, if anyone's watching this video, hit the like button and let Infinity War know. Of course, it can't happen now. They haven't done it already because the game's already in development and are going through the final stages of probably a touching up multiplayer and uh, doing final patches and getting ready to market the game. Uh, market the game. Market the game. And coming out at number seven, I would love to see the MTRX to come back in the game. This was one of the most popular SMGs and one of the most popular over guns used, and I think it was like top three or top four gun used in COD Champs. And I did like this gun, it was my second favorite SMG. And it was just an overall good gun. It was it had pack it didn't pack too much power at close range, but it was an overall good use SMG and you know people who run I just loved using run suppressor and Foregrip, because foregrip was always the most attachment used for me. I would use mo muzzle. I would switch around between suppressor and muzzle brake on the gun, and I usually used it with freaking specialists. And that it was just an overall good gun. Coming at number six, I would love to see the honey badger to come back. You know, the honey badger is on uh, as you see in this gameplay. I oh, freaking just wreck you, people dude. with this, and don't mind the people raging. Probably add those rage clips of, of this gameplay into my uh, rage montage, but. That was, uh, I love the built and suppressor and the honey badge is a natural gun. For people who don't believe me, go to FPS Rush, uh, with one of his videos. He's shooting the honey badger. It was a built and suppressor. That was a pretty good gun. My favorite assault rifle. Probably one of my uh, uh, top two assault rifles. And it was just a good gun, you know. It had that freaking stock on it, like I'm using on this gameplay. It just freaking packs punch. And it had that freaking four grip on it. And freaking extended mag, that's all I usually ran. And sometimes I would run Red Dead Sight. Red Dead Sight, or some kind of optical sight, you know, because uh, the iron detachments are kind of getting away, but you can work your way around it sometimes. You have accuracy. Coming at number five, I'd love to see the Vector return. You know, the Vector was uh, my favorite SMG. It was just a good gun, you know. It shoots a 45 ACP ammo. Yeah. The Vector was in Black Ops 2, it was in Todd Ghost. And I believe it was in Modern Warfare 2, I believe that was right. And yeah, that gun just needs to be just about in every card because it was just a good gun. You know, I think it was the most used SMG, or either it was the MTAR. 
Coming at number four, I would love to see the freaking Remington R5, my favorite assault rifle. That gun was just a laser beam. It freaking decked people across the map. Had the freaking red dead sight and freaking tour grip or muzzle brake and freaking uh it was it was just a freaking laser beam. And I freaking almost got a I came close to getting so many cams, you know. Hopefully it returns, you know. Hopefully the stats are all the same and nothing they changed nothing out of that gun. It was just a freaking laser beam. And coming at number three, I would love to see the stabbing ammunition come back. You know, I just freaking when the game first came out when they showed the chair he just big their knife into their chest. It was it's so exciting, you know, I like doing it because when I would freaking just snipe people, I love to hear people rage through in game chat and just get mad. Now hopefully one thing I would like to see them do from it, improve from it, is tone down the lunge and uh I hate it when someone would do a one eighty knife, like they run behind you and all of a sudden they panic knife and they freaking do a one eighty knife and hopefully they they get rid of that. Keep the stabbing emanation. I wish every COD was like that. Swing your knife, you know, it, it just is boring. You know, it makes it unrealistic. And or maybe they had the option to counter knife when someone like from front, uh, from front, like in Battlefield. So yeah. Coming at number two, I would love to see return is Specialist. Now they started this back on a model for three. You know, it was a pretty good uh, thing and they did make it better on COD Ghost by not having an option to get all perks. And hopefully the perk systems improved, uh, like the 36, 38 perks they had, that was unnecessary. Maybe to go back to freaking mono Warfare style perks from like NW3, that we don't want freaking some of the perks they had in Modern Warfare 2, like freaking One Man Army, and that was unnecessary in Commando Pro. And maybe Pro perks, I would like to see Pro perks come back. That's one thing that could be on my list, or honorable mention perks. Uh, honorable mention perks, honorable mention list, and yeah, that that just needs to come back. Specialist, you know that that was a good uh, setup. The range you were trying to get, you know, the freaking cam strike and all that, or nuke. I don't know what they're gonna call it, but uh, the cam strike and nuke comes back in the game. It was just a freaking. It this helped. That's when you're playing domination. You just rack up them freaking perks and. If you had a good team or you know what you're doing, you would just freaking rack up kills. Coming at my final list at number one is I would love to see them continue the campaign. For anyone who didn't play, you need to go play and you don't want to know the spoil ending. Skip the, skip this ending part. And uh, a lot of people know that Logan's brother gets taken. I can't remember Logan's brother's name, but he gets taken by Rourke. Or used to be like a goat used to be a member of the ghost team and gets brainwashed by the Federation. He gets held captain. That's what that's what Warwick wants to do because he tells him at the end, like we're gonna kill the ghost together and takes him away. Yeah, and hope they continue the campaign. I've seen other videos on YouTube of YouTubers talking about just scrapping the game, making a whole new campaign. Watch, I don't think that's gonna happen. I think they continue the campaign. Oh my God! Don't kill yourself, Gobby rushes you nigger. In the final stages. Yeah, and hopefully the campaign returns. Do you guys agree with my top 10 list? Or I want to make up your own list? Do it in the comment section. And uh, peace out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video.